Are you sneaking up on me again? Also, I kind of this looks really strange right now, but... Nice legs, though. Huh? <laughs> Look what my dad has done. Do it. Sound like Sean DePal from I don't need that. Sean DePal. I don't need it. I can do it. Okay, there's no floor. <laughs> I don't need it. I can do it. Sean DePal. <laughs> I get the gist. Where's my phone? Sean DePal. Hi guys, you're very welcome to episode 5 of the T's and C's Tried DIY. My name is Chelsea. And my name is Hyg. And we... We're, we're just getting into it now, yeah, lads. We're not messing about this week, lads. We're diving straight in. Right, you've been around long enough. Yeah. You know the story. No hanging about. We're on episode five. We mean business. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Like we said, lads, we're not messing about in this episode. We're diving straight into it. There's going to be no shy talk. Bossman John has a lesson for us. Well, like, there's going to be a little bit. Why? Well, he's talking about sewage pipes. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is an access chamber, which we'll have to make sure that there's going to be always access to it. So that's down underneath the ground at the moment. So we're going to be bringing that up inside no shade. So we're going to be... I, I mixed it up to the height of the of the floor of the shed. This is the master bedroom. The floors have been taken up for the electrician. So you keep roughly around halfway so that when you're kneading down, they are screwing down that you won't that you won't hit anything. And also when you're kneading up from below or anything coming up from below that you don't hit that you don't hit any of the pipes. So you go about halfway. Do you want to record it? I'll have a crack off of it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> see the shaft now we can actually block it. It can pull in when you see all the hell over shots. Make sure that your lead is away from the, the core bit. Yeah, fair enough. You might bring it on power. Yeah. Why is it not going forward? Why not pushing far? No, 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 no. So going on the way, you put it into reverse. <laughs> I did it. Okay. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're going to use the multi-tool. We're planning. And we need another so double socket here on the hallway because there's none here. So the way we're going to do that is we've come up the same distance as what all the rest of the house is. So we've marked this here now so we've got to cut this but we also then have to, there's a sole plate here and actually in this house there's a double sole plate. So there's six inches that we've got to try and get up to get into the void that's in behind here in that partition and then we can rewire it. So at the moment, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a multi-tool, which is this little gadget here. And we'll cut that. So that's the pocket now for the, for the, Sockets. I think we, we're, there's a stud here right beside that now, so we'll probably go from this side here. You're in? So what I've done now is I've drilled up through the, there's two sole plates there to to um four by twos so i know i've got a hole down inside here so what we can do is when we're what we when we're wiring this we'll be able to take a wire in here up inside here and that's our socket fed with wiring so. 
tray later, isn't it? Did you get that, you did? Make me look like <laughs> nothing. Once again, Boss Man John likes to pretend that he doesn't enjoy being on camera, but really he loves it when we catch him off guard doing these things. Yeah, like last week, he was telling everyone it was his series, which is technically not wrong. No, he's not wrong. He is carrying the series. But when he's making you roll down the window so he can tell people he knows <laughs> to check out Boss Man John's series on YouTube, like, I'm starting to think he, he's... He's in denial. Yeah. He's in denial. At this stage, we should just start making merch for him. Oh, 100%. I'd buy it. Show me the money. <laughs> okay, so that's another bit that you can... I'm just going to go into the garden now. This is what you call recycling. You know, it's turned out to be a good productive day today. Uh, we had the electrician in this morning, so he dropped off a special drill that helps you drill holes through, like, the, the timbers and the floors so um, that's now helping us to reroute some new cables that we're adding in for different parts um, and that's that was interesting I got to have a go off that as well um, outside in the garden then we've just been adding some stone in to kind of bring up the level to where we need it to be we're going to probably add in some gravel in the next couple of days and then we'll bring in a whacker to just flatten it all down but today was about just trying to get it close to somewhat level across the board and filling up where the uh, garden shed is going to be as well so that's been going on dad's also added in uh, new boxes for um, plugs as well so we have a couple of new boxes that we're just adding in all over the place um, and deciding where we're going to put radiators so again we're drilling holes for the plumbing there as well um, so yeah it's been a productive day there's been a lot kind of going on and we're making good headway with stuff we've also knocked out the fireplace as well so the fireplace has ended up going out to the garden to help fill some uh, holes that we have there as well and um, so yeah it's, it's all kind of taken shape but it's one of those ones where today it doesn't feel like you've made a lot of progress but when you stop and actually think about what's been done we have managed to get a lot in the space of time that we've been had to work with um, and I'm going to finish off this evening though by taking off a few extra pieces of architrave that were just missed at the start so we're going to plow on with that and then yeah we'll see how it goes we'll just we'll pull the late one and we'll go with it from there and now I'm off to make his dinner just in case anyone thinks I'm doing absolutely nothing in this nah, house. She, I've done my fair share. She's keeping the main workers full. Yeah, but I've done my fair share, thank you very much. She, she. <laughs> I have actually done my part. I came down after work and did my part. Now yeah. I have to go home and cook She's dinner. She's doing a double shift. I'm doing a double shift. All right, she so before that. anyone comes, where's Chelsea? I'm here, I'm in the background. is this one here uh, between where the shower room will be and where the door is. And for the rest of the room we're okay in terms of space and we can put our new tiles over the old tiles, no hassle. But the problem we have here is that this wall is just too tight to the door. So if we end up trying to put like new tiles on top, we might not be able to close the door fully properly afterwards. So the plan of action is if I can try and get this shroud in underneath and just knock it in a little bit more, I should be able to pop them off ending up without damaging too much of the plaster behind it. it. Means that we can then lay the new tiles where the old tiles were and it will reserve the space that we have. So that's my next job. So yeah, that's the plan of action. This bow went very well and very bad, so one side was almost perfect. Everything just came off straight away, no major hassle. You know, a couple of slaps with the, the trowel got it back out. Like, even some of them came off the other in twos and threes. This side, though, a right mess. It was just, every single one of the tiles that was there ended up taking a little bit of plaster off with it. Every single one of them just took extra layers off that, that, that we kind of needed to stay on. Um, so, there's probably going to be a bit of fixing in it, but look, at least one section of it is done perfect, no hassle. The other one will have to do a bit of fixing, and at least it means that we've taken the wall back as far as we can, so that there's that little bit of room from where the door will be. So, um, look, job's done now anyway, but yeah, a little bit of repairing to do. 
uh, at some stage something had to go wrong. Uh, I love how you said that's the first thing that was going to go wrong. Well, like, it's the first thing that got caught on camera. True. The rest I'm just pretending never happened. You have no <laughs> idea what is to come with this battery. Oh, God, yeah. No idea. Look at that, look. Ah, look, look. It's not just spot on, this is perfect. 28th of July, two months in, um, and this week has been absolutely mental because uh, it's first time in the house that we've really had other people in other than myself, Dad and Chelsea who've been doing bits. So uh, we had the electrician in this week, we've had the plumber in for a good bit as well, um, and we've the majority of first fixing done, which is massive. Like that's, the, that's kind of the heavy brunt of stuff you get, the first fi fixings done. Do not listen to me. We did not have first fixings done. I am wrong. <laughs> Floors all came up, the, the pipes were laid down, did a lot of chasing as well. Um, I spent a good bit of time this week cutting out the boxes for all the new sockets. Um, so yeah, we've done quite a bit this week, which is probably why there's not a whole pile of footage to be honest. But uh, yeah, the place is looking way, way better now. Like you can you can see the, the big changes coming. So like all around the house there are the, 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 the light sockets have all been cut. Um, we have the the plumbing done for most of the rads now as well, so the rads are going to be ordered soon enough. Um, next couple of days, we're hoping that the electrician will be back. What is with the Johnny Bravo hair? Listen. <laughs> I died laughing when I saw that again. Yeah, we're, it's, when, it's, when, it's when he turns his head sideways. He looks like he's got the Johnny Bravo going on. All you need is blonde hair and your Johnny Bravo. 911, it's an emergency. <laughs> There's, There's a, a handsome, handsome man in my mirror. mirror. <laughs> oh wait, that's just me. Showtime! But the next big job is not actually for me, it's for Chelsea. Because we have been holding on to something for her, for when we had a little bit of free time in the evening for her to enjoy. But you're going to have to wait until next episode to find out what Chelsea's surprise is. Yeah, it's a good one. You're going to want to come back for that one. But in the meantime, make sure to go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe and maybe leave a comment or two and let us know what you thought. That's it. Perhaps maybe hashtag Bossman John for life. Or hashtag Bossman School of Construction. And other than that, I hope you have a great weekend. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let us know what you thought, like you said, and we will catch you next time. That's right. Bye. Is School of conduct uh, con Conduction 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 He's electric <laughs> <laughs> He's conduct <laughs>